today I'm doing a video on my car. I very rarely do videos on my car, but I've been asked and requested to do more videos on it. So today I've got a Sportex exhaust, which is just over there. Uh, it's a full system cat back, so I'm going to get that fitted. I've got Michael here to help me because I'm absolutely not the mechanics. Um, so yes, without further ado, we'll just film it as we go along, film how it ends up, and if it does work, test it out. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into this. And there we go, guys. Finally got that off. Jesus, look at that. That was a job and a half just to get that back box off. Right, we're now going to see what it sounds like without the back box, just for the fun of it. So guys, what we've got is we've got the back box off. It's just this last bit now that we need to actually somehow get off. <laughs> and uh, stop saying we. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, not, it's not fucking we. You're sitting there. <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, and then uh, we should hopefully be able to start constructing the new one. However, we've noticed a problem. Well, Michael's noticed a problem. At the end of my exhaust. Uh, this bit's kind of ripping and isn't exactly in the best of shape. It was already like that. Yeah. <laughs> so I bet no blunt in that one. I'm gonna have to somehow get that replaced or something okay, like that. So test two. This is with uh, if you look that way, both parts of the exhaust off. Uh, just see how loud it is without an exhaust. And we'll, there we go. <laughs> You're already halfway through that one, you ain't even got the end bit off. Because it just tears off for me. Michael does this as a job, so <coughs> my excuse. What? Unwrapping stuff? You'll be surprised. Because Michael does everything. It's Michael. What should I say? I've got standards in my ladies. I don't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> you got about 100 comments. Why the fuck are you unwrapping it that way? That's really stressing me out. Fuck it. Oh, fucking hell, you nearly got me. Slowly but surely getting there guys. As you can see, got the tube on now. So it is just the back box. And then get in there. Ooh, dirty hands. I barely help. Looking nice and cozy. guys so we've got the exhaust on finally going to do a sound test to see what it sounds like it's obviously not quite in center because the uh off it's something off bracket there's a bracket that's wrong that yeah it's changing. so probably do that at some point in the future <laughs> <laughs> i don't know yeah uh let's see what it sounds like that's nice already sounding good Long story short, guys, if I stop doing YouTube, 
YouTube, I've been arrested. <laughs> That's nice. Hey guys, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna drive this around, give it a couple of tests, see what it sounds like, and pretty much end the video with that because it's now fitted. And then by Mike, Michael's, thank you Michael, you're the best. It's just faded into hey the white. So let's yeah. test out the exhaust. We're gonna drive up to get a drink now and just see how it sounds. It's been a couple of days now since I made that video. As you can tell, I've just got out of bed and my hair's an absolute mess. Um, but yes, just a quick review of that exhaust because really, the little clips I added in at the end of me testing it out, it doesn't do it any justice. I mean, in person, that sound of that exhaust is amazing. Like, the camera just does not pick up the bass. It doesn't pick up the deepness. It doesn't pick up the raw, just the pure meatiness in that sound wait meatiness meatiness in that sound um it just kind of picks up the raspy trombone noise but um seriously the camera just doesn't do it justice so if you guys do want to hear the full power of a sportex exhaust especially a cat back which is what i've got then you're gonna have to buy your own because seriously it is worth it it's a hundred percent louder than I thought it was going to be, but if you're wanting to get an aftermarket loud exhaust, a Sportex is a good idea. I mean, it cost me £172, including £13 um, delivery, so it's not super, like some, something that is extremely expensive. It's not extremely cheap. It's like it's 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 a good price for a good exhaust it's it's worth the money now if you're going to do it then make sure you've got a lot of time and patience especially if your car's uh quite old and rusty like mine so for example we like you couldn't really tell in the video but it we took about three four hours trying to sort out that exhaust simply because the exhaust itself like the standard one had just completely rusted over you couldn't get anything off it it was an absolute pain to do. There's that bit that's slightly broken, so we didn't want to break that even more whilst trying to take off the other bits of the exhaust. So it is a bit. It is a job. You can take it to a garage if you're not too exhaust. Uh, not exhaust. Uh, mod knowledge. I wasn't myself. Like I wouldn't have been able been able to manage that on my own. It's pretty much Michael that helped me out on that fully. So yes, big thanks to you, Mike. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm gonna give this exhaust a solid nine out of ten. It is amazing brilliant exhaust um so yeah i would definitely suggest the sportex exhaust on an astra h so yeah that's gonna be it so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to like and subscribe for more smack the bell for notifications if you want to see this sexy face again and i'll see you all in another one phoenix salute out